and welcome to today's Open Heavens Reflections. It's my joy to be with you today and I pray that today's reflections will bless you and impact your life in Jesus' name. My name is Andrea Anduko and I co-pastor Chapel of Grace, a parish of the Redeemed Christian Church of God in Bradford, West Yorkshire, with my husband, Dr. Akbo Anduko. Today's topic is Adam Witted. Our Bible passage is from Genesis 2, 21 to 25. And the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall on Adam, and he slept, and he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh in its place. Then the rib which the Lord God had taken from man, he made into a woman, and he brought her to the man. And Adam said, This is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman, because she was taken out of man. Therefore a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and they shall become one flesh. And they were both naked, the man and his wife, and were not ashamed. Our memory verse is from the same passage, Genesis 2, chapter 20, verse 21. And the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall on Adam. And he slept, and he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh in its place. We thank the Lord always for the life of our pastor, E.A. Adeboye, for being a great blessing to us from the Lord. Today we are focusing on the issue of marriage. And this telecast will be very useful to those who are still waiting on the Lord for their life partners. The language we are using today is waiting. If you are still single, can I ask you whether in all honesty you are really waiting? Waiting does not mean jumping from one person to another under the guise that you are dating. That will usher confusion into your life and you will not be able to hear from the Lord. From the Bible passage that we read today, when it was time for Adam to have his companion, the Bible says that he was put through a deep sleep and it was in that process that Eve was formed. If you trust the Lord for a life partner, you need that deep sleep of waiting on the Lord. In fact, the verse 23 of Genesis 2 in the New Living Translation says something that is great. In that translation, when God brought Eve to Adam, he said, at last, this is the bone of my bone and the flesh of my flesh. The fact that he said at last showed that he waited. And you too will have your own at last moment in Jesus' name. Many of our singles today cannot wait though. Agreed, we live in a world where everything has become fast, but you have to learn to wait upon the Lord. You can't afford to pray for five minutes and expect that on the sixth minute, God has given you the bone of your bone and the flesh of your flesh. You have to wait and go through the long deep sleep. You have to allow the Lord to prepare and work on the other party while he is also working on you so that you can have a perfect home. To hasten your preparation process, begin to pray intensively. Study the word of God, work on your attitudes and do things that will engender your love for the Lord. Don't continue to go from one sister or brother to another causing heartbreaks. Depend on the Lord to work on you and bring his desire to fruition over your life. The key point for today is that the extent to which you are ready to wait will determine the size of the blessing God will be prepared to release to you. How long can you wait? I appeal to you not to be in a rush, but wait on God's perfect timing because he has a perfect time for you. And don't be afraid that you will not meet that bone of your bone and flesh of your flesh. I assure you, that when you are walking with God, he will never disappoint you. Let's pray in Jesus' name. Father God, I pray for every person watching this at the moment who is struggling to wait. I pray, Lord, that you will give them the grace to be able to wait on you because those who wait on you, they will never be disappointing. So Father God, I pray that you will even help them to wait and during this waiting process, they will locate the bone of their bone and the flesh of their flesh in Jesus' name. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Hallelujah. Thank you for joining me today. God bless you and have a wonderful day.